In this video, I show you how to enable developer mode on Discord. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Here we are in Discord and let's get into this. So once you go and enable developer mode, there are a few sort of different things you can go and do with it. It basically goes and gives you more sort of features and options, um, which are going to be useful. And I'll show you some of them what they are after we've gone and enabled it. So to first you go and enable it, what you need to do is come to the bottom left of Discord and go and tap on the user settings button. And once you're in your user settings, then what you need to do is scroll right to the bottom of this side menu here, scroll, scroll down, and then what you need to do is go and look for advanced under app settings just here and go and tap on it. And then as you can see, we've got a few, we've got two options here, one of them being developer mode. And as you can see, it says developer mode exposes context menu items helpful for people writing bots using the Discord API. This is a few of the benefits for people who may want to use it as well. So now let's go and turn it on just like so. And then you actually go and get this option here for application test mode as well. Um, but you don't have to turn that on right now. One thing developer mode does, it goes and gives everything its own ID. So text channels, users, they all have their own ID. For example, let's go and right click on text channel. As you can see, I now have this option for copy ID just like so. And that's the same for say um, messages as well. Right click and they all have their own ID. As you can see, it's just a load of numbers, but each them sort of correlate to the specific message or channel or whatever it is. If you found this guide useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Peace.